I know that uh, there will be disputes about whether or not this is a legitimate source to begin with. What, um, the, that's, of course, a different Bible? argument. Um, yeah. Um, about whether or not this, is, whether this has been tampered with or not, that's a different argument. But um, assuming that this has not been tampered with and that this is fine, which is what, of course, I would prefer, um, you can see that prior to Ishmael's birth, God promises Abraham a son. And Abraham then goes and marries Hagar, which so, so, um, is the one who says he should do that. And they have Ishmael. Yeah. Now, at that point, the text does not tell us that this is the son that God has promised. In fact, just after that, God says, the son's coming. Which tells us that he hadn't yet been born. So the son that was actually promised was not the son of Hagar, the slave woman from Egypt. It was rather going to be from Sarah herself. No, no. When you say the son was promised, so that conversation was taking place with Sarah, not with Abraham. No, 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 no. With Abraham. With, with Abraham. The, 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 there's two different conversations. So if we go first. Yeah. Because the first prayer that Abraham prayed to God was to grant him a, ch a son, isn't it? Yeah. There was a there was such a prayer, and that had been fulfilled. Yeah. That prayer had been fulfilled in Ishmael being born as the first child of Abraham. I think, if I remember correctly from the Bible source, um, Ishmael was something like uh, 14 years old when Isaac was born. Is that right? Uh, Thereabouts. Very likely. Very yeah, likely. so he was already 14 years old in his teens. Yes. yes, and he was already circumcised. That means the covenant was actually first established with Abraham, then his firstborn, Ishmael, and then Isaac later on. So anyone who says the covenant is not established with uh, Ishmael is completely and utterly wrong. Yes, you're, 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 you're right about 14, yes, because he it says he was he was circumcised at 13, yeah. and of course a year later is when Isaac, uh, Isaac was born. born. Exactly, yeah. Do you believe that, that that narrative is historical? Yes. Really? Yes. Because if you read the narrative, it's acting like Ishmael's a baby. Oh, you're going to that? Oh, okay, okay about the sacrifice? One. We did yeah. that last no, no, time. No, no, no. No? no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said. yeah, we, 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 uh, we did that last yeah, yeah, time, we, remember? We, okay, let's rephrase what you just said. Yeah, we established I was right last time. Also. No, we didn't establish you were right last time. <laughs> the baby I, gave, I gave an explanation, which you did What was your Okay, so you was your explanation, explanation, explanation how Abraham put the baby on his mother? It doesn't say baby. No, okay, the, the child. Lad, the, lad, the child. The child. So the child. Lad, the child. Put yeah. it on his mother. Yes. How old was I? How old was he? He was, at the time, in his 20s. 20s or 30s or something. 20s or what? <laughs> 20s or 30s? Yes. I, I was going to say like 16, 17. Yeah, I was talking teenage, teenager. I, I, I'm talking yeah. You're yeah. saying 20s or 30s? Something like that. So Abraham put his 20, yes. 30 year old son That's on his mother. Why? On, on, on a shoulder. On a shoulder. <laughs> the Jewish explanation of this is that he was very sick at the time. This one was very sick. So his mother carried him? Yes. And why was he very sick according to what? Does he say that? He, he was sick. He was sick. This is, this is once again the old tradition. Right, so this old tradition, this is going to be dodgy. This. All right. So I'm going to ask a question. How old was his mother? That, that, that doesn't say. Uh, I would presume significantly older than Ishmael. Ishmael. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she would have been significantly older than Ishmael. So, 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 so carrying a grown man, 30-year-old. 30-year-old. Now, first of all, first, no, so, okay, so let's let's pretend for a second that it would be unreasonable to say that she, that she is carrying him, which I don't think it's that unreasonable to say. Ridiculous. But even if... It's a ridiculous. baby. The narrative is a baby. It doesn't but, say baby. It doesn't have to. The narrative says it. No, the narrative does not say baby. The narrative says, put her on the shoulder, the baby cry, put her under the bush, hold the baby up. What are you talking about? Hold the ladder. Does a 20 year old, even if he's sick, um, does he cry? Does he cry under a bush? Well, this one, yes. And, and she, she, uh, she, puts, uh, she puts him under a bush. I mean, cry like a baby. Like a, cry like a baby. Yeah. 20 year old. The, and then when she's told to hold him, hold him up. 20, 20 year old. Well, well, to, to be fair. Let me at least demolish your 30 year old argument if you don't mind even your 20 year old argument yeah uh how old was Abraham when Ishmael was born? Ishmael was born. 86. Faster than I am. 86? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How old was he when Isaac was born? 19. No, Plus 14. 99. 100. So how old is Ishmael? 14. 14, yeah. Right. And when was he kicked out after the baby finished weaning? How long did you wean the baby for? Uh, three. Three years? Yes. But by your calculations, it's 13 years. <laughs> 13. I didn't give a specific... That makes Ishmael at least 17 years. 
years old. At least 17, yeah. After the reading of Isaac. Okay, so you said 20s or 30s, right? This is demonstrating your oral tradition is wrong. No, it's not. Well, it is. Well, how long did Isaac wean for? Three years. Three years. So how was the oldest Isaac could possibly be? Ishmael could possibly be the oldest. If we say that it's it's straight after the weaning, then you will say... Well, straight after the weaning. If you say that it's straight after the weaning, which is the way you're reading the text. The day he was weaned, which means the day he come off, yeah, Abraham held a great feast. But Sarah saw that the son whom Hagar, the Egyptian, had born to Abraham was mocking. And she said to Abraham, get rid of that slave woman. So he's maximum 17. So if your oral tradition is making the claim he's 20 or 30, it's wrong. Yeah, based on the Tanakh. Based on the Tanakh. So you know, there's, there's actually a story in the in Genesis where it talks where God talks about the right of the firstborn. So he says here in Deuteronomy 21, 15 to 17, if a man has two wives and he loves one but not the other, and both bear him sons, but the firstborn is the son of the wife he does not love. When he wills his property to his sons, he must not give the rights of the firstborn to the son of the wife he loves, in preference to his actual firstborn, the son of the wife he does not love. Yeah. He must acknowledge the son of his unloved first, sorry, unloved wife as the firstborn by giving him a double share of all he has. Yeah. That means the firstborn yeah, so gets double yeah, the share sure. of the inheritance. Yeah. So the son is the first sign of his father's strength. Yes. Not the mother, yeah. which you were alluding to us earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have also established... Notice, by the way, it says wife. It does not say concubine. Just notice that. But yeah, yeah, but, anyway, but God, did say, God did say that Hagar was the wife of Abraham. Was his wife. Whether you say initially as a concubine or not, if God has proclaimed that Hagar was the wife of Abraham, then you are no one to deny, neither am I. Just, do, do we agree? Please remind me, where does, where does God say that... Uh, oh yeah, I will, I will, I'll show you, no problem. Just quickly, I'll read this, Genesis 22, I'm, I'm, too. Re I'm really in a rush now. Yeah, sure. So let me read That's this, it's a very small passage. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love. Okay, and they put Isaac there, I don't, but we have to we carry on. And go to the region of Moriah, sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain, I will show you. So when he says, take your son, your only son, Yes. The one you love, Isaac. No, but are you are you saying that Abraham did not love Ishmael? He loved both. That's, exactly. That's why he carries on. Going. The question is, who that's was the only son? On at that's at, at, at what point was Abraham having the only I'll, son? I'll tell you. I, what, I can I'll just tell you what the just, just just you on something else you said as well. God, oh, God. God said, and I'll really finish with this because I'm okay. really in a rush now. No, I have yeah. to correct you on um, one thing before you leave. It's very quick. Okay, fine. <laughs> but um, the Midrash says, this is a normal law, that um, that that God said take your son. He said, I have two sons. Take your, t take, what do you, um, your no, says this. T t take your, take your firstborn son. He said, so each one is the firstborn of his mother. Take the, t take your only son. Each one is the only son of his mother. Take yeah. one you love. But I love them both. Isaac, take Isaac. Yeah, right? no, it's, so, it says here, yeah, take your son, your only son. I know. I, so at what point did Abraham have his no, only got, son? We've got a contradiction yeah. between the Tana no, and the, the, the contradiction the again. At, at, at the time of Ishmael. Because it keeps, it, it adds all these extra words. It doesn't need to do that. Why all the extra words? Let me Let's not rush Josh it, okay. This. Are you ready, Josh? You're going to love this one. Genesis 16.3. So after Abraham had lived 10 years in the land of Canaan, Sarah, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, the Egyptian, her servant, and gave her to Abraham, her husband, as a wife. As a wife. Yeah. As a what? As a wife.